This morning, the president's son goes on trial. That is, if there is no last second plea agreement, which we will get to in a moment. Very shortly, within walking distance of his father's campaign office, Hunter Biden will be the first child of a sitting president to face such criminal proceedings. The 54-year-old is charged with illegally purchasing and possessing a gun while abusing or being addicted to drugs. Prosecutors say he bought the gun in October of 2018. Biden had the gun for about 11 days. Overnight, the judge overseeing the trial dealt a blow to his defense, blocking one witness and a key piece of evidence that lawyers had hoped to use all just hours before jury selection is supposed to begin. CNN's Marshall Cohen is standing by live outside the court this morning. Marshall, walk us through what we're going to see. John, good morning. Any minute now, Hunter Biden will make history when he walks into the federal courthouse right behind me in Wilmington, Delaware. He will become the first son of the sitting president of this country to go on trial. It's never happened before. He is facing three felony charges that were filed by special counsel David Weiss, who has been investigating him since 2018. Two counts of lying on federal gun forms and one count of unlawful possession of a gun. John, it's against federal law for a drug user or drug addict to buy a gun, and that's what the prosecutors say Hunter Biden did here. He's been very open about his lifelong struggles with addiction, but the prosecutors are going to try to convict him by demonstrating that he was using drugs when he bought that gun at a Wilmington gun shop. If he's convicted of all these charges, he could face prison time up to 25 years. But of course, his father does have the power of the pardon. But that's not where we're at today. Today is just the start of this process. Jury selection is happening starting at 830. John, there are 250 Delaware residents that have been summoned to this courthouse. They will be questioned about their political activities. They will be asked if they can be fair and impartial. And eventually, they need a jury of 12 to hear this case. Marshall, what were the rulings that went against Hunter Biden's defense team overnight? And even at this late hour, with just 90 minutes to go before jury selection, is a plea deal still possible? Well, that a plea deal could happen at any time in any criminal case, just to be clear on that. Uh, and the judge last night issued some rulings to deal with some of the simmering issues that were not settled before things kicked off. She did deal a blow to the president's son and his chances of beating this case. She decided to exclude a key witness that they wanted to call, an expert on addiction that could have poked some holes in the prosecutor's theories about his state of mind. And she also won't let Hunter Biden's team introduce a key piece of evidence that they thought could tarnish the credibility of some of those employees at the gun store that sold him the revolver. So it got a little bit tougher for the president's son last night, and the proceedings kick off here at 8 30. It's coming up. All right, Marshall Cohen, great to have you there. And it is notable President Biden did spend the night in Delaware, Kate, obviously to be at least near his son as this all begins. Absolutely. CNN's Caitlin Polans is with us now. We really are just minutes away for something historic and really something a lot of people thought would never happen. Yeah, a case that Hunter Biden was really trying to cut bits away from or even not have to face uh, with a trial that there was a plea deal previously that fell apart. But here we are now, John, with jury selection beginning today. Here's a little more on how we got here. The son of the sitting president on trial in another criminal case with big political implications. They ridiculed my struggle with addiction. Hunter Biden's addiction and purchase of a gun in October 2018 is at the heart of this case. The Justice Department accusing him of lying on gun purchasing forms that required him to attest he wasn't addicted to drugs. A special counsel brought the case last year after a prior deal fell apart in dramatic fashion at his plea hearing. I'm here today to announce the appointment of David Weiss as a special counsel. On Monday, jury selection begins, potentially a challenging task in his hometown of Wilmington, Delaware. Federal prosecutors plan to highlight a part of his memoir where he writes about struggling with drug addiction around the time he bought the gun. I had returned that fall of 2018 after my most recent relapse in California with the hope of getting clean through a new therapy and reconciling with Hallie. Neither happened. And they have evidence from the week of the gun purchase. Hunter Biden texting he was waiting for a dealer and sleeping on a car smoking crack. 
The trial also may feature testimony from the women in Hunter Biden's life, his ex-wife, his brother's widow, and a woman he pays child support to. Prosecutors say the women witnessed his drug addiction. While Joe Biden continues to seek re-election, the president has avoided commenting directly on the prosecution of his son. I'm very proud of my son. Yet the trial is likely to dredge up more Republican attacks on the Bidens, including about a laptop containing embarrassing messages and images that prosecutors have obtained. The Biden crime family sold out America and the American people have had enough. Republicans have been investigating Hunter Biden's business dealings as part of an impeachment probe of President Biden that's come up short. Short. MAGA Republicans have impugned my character, invaded my privacy, attacked my wife, my children, my family, and my friends. After his trial on felony gun charges ends, Hunter Biden is set to face a second one in federal court in California on tax charges. So now Hunter Biden is arriving at that federal courthouse in Delaware. We are just hearing that now. And John, uh, what's happening next is that his defense is going to try and poke holes largely around this idea that Hunter Biden knew he was an addict at that time of October 2018, that he they're going to try and make the point to the jury that he was trying to get clean. He had just come out of rehab and that this was not a man who, when he checked that box, knew he was lying. John? All right, Caitlin Polans for us. We are seeing some arrivals of the principal players in this case, as you said, live pictures from outside the courthouse right there. Caitlin Polans, thank you very much.